Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, acne, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human body, the human biological system, it's always a healing system. It's always a regenerating system. It is always designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And no matter what your health crisis is, no matter what your chronic degenerative disease crisis is, it may seem like a miracle, but it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. Let us show you how easy it can be to reverse your chronic degenerative disease. Let us show you how easy it can be to change your life today, to change the lives of loved ones, friends, family members today, to get yourself on a good nutritional supplement program, to turn it around. The body can turn on a dime as long as we turn on a dime. Let us show you how easy that can be. 844-236-6010 is our number. If we left you on hold in the past, Please tell our call screener and we'll get you first up. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the Bright Side or recommend on the program, please call the phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or my new blog, criticalhealthnews.com. Of course, you can join the Bright Side Ben team or the Critical, Health News, the Critical Health News team right off the website as well. For a one-time $10 fee, you can help spread the word about the power and the importance of a good nutritional supplement program. All right, thanks for joining us on The Bright Side. We're talking skin health and skin anti-aging in honor of my new Truth Treatment products, truthtreatments.com. If you want more information or if you want to purchase our retinol gel or our vitamin C products, truthtreatments.com. We're talking skin health. We're talking skin anti-aging. But we're also talking about the simplicity of all health. The skin is a de understanding how to work with the skin is a demonstration of the simplicity of all health. We're talking about skin, yes, but we're also talking about the entire body. The skin is a microcosm of the entire body. So what's true about the skin is going to be true about the whole body. So even if you're not trying to address a skin health challenge, even if you don't have acne or psoriasis or eczema or dry skin, and I don't know anybody who doesn't have at least something wrong with their skin, but just say if you don't have a dramatic skin problem, there's still lots of value to understanding how to treat the skin. Just as skin health issues are simple to address in the same fashion, all health issues are simple to address. This is so important, you guys, because we get confused and obfuscated and the medical model wants us just to throw our hands up and go to the doctor and get our gallbladders taken out or get our steroid creams or whatever the latest and greatest medical, medical strategy is for dealing with what really is just a simple breakdown in the body. This is so important to understand the simplicity of health and wellness if we're going to free ourselves from the tyranny of the medical model. The simplicity of health and wellness and the techniques of reversing, reversing, not curing, reversing degenerative disease and illness. Reversing is different from curing. Doctors cure or they talk about curing or they say there is no cure and they're right because you don't need to cure a chronic degenerative health crisis. We need to reverse it because chronic degenerative disease is a verb, not a noun. It's an action. We're doing something. That means if we stop doing something, if we do something differently, our chronic degenerative diseases will reverse. I call this hidden in plain sight. 
to demonstrate the obviousness, the non-medical idea, the non-doctor idea that the body is a perfect system. It's a divinely mandated, perfectly designed system. And if it's not operating as we'd like, as, as in chronic degenerative disease, if it's not operating the way we want it to be operating, all we got to do is look at what's mucking up the works. What is mucking up the system? What is getting into the system that is causing it to act in this degenerative fashion? And at the same time, we want to look at what's missing from the system. What are we not getting? And by the way, this is not just true about the physical dimension. It's also true about spiritual crisis, mental crisis, emotional crisis. It's true about all the dimensions of our lives. What is interfering and what is missing? That's it. There's no doctor here required. There's no spiritual guidance required. There's no priest required. There's no psychiatrist or psychologist required. We can do this all ourselves. And at the end of the day, the bright side philosophy is a philosophy of empowerment. It says we can heal ourselves. You don't need a pharmacist. You don't need me. You don't need Obamacare. You don't need a doctor. You don't need an insurance company. You don't need surgeries. You don't need medical intervention of any kind. This is a, a message of empowerment. We can do it ourselves. All we need to do is ask what is interfering and what is missing. What is getting into our system that is mucking up the works and what is missing from the system that is keeping it from operating as it should. And it's true about all the dimensions of, of, of being alive. If we don't have enough money, if we don't have enough love, if we don't have relationships, if we feel that in any way we're not participating in the incredible bounties of being alive, the incredible richness of life, if we feel like we're not participating or we're not accessing these riches, this abundance, all we got to do is ask, what are we doing wrong and what are we not doing right? What are we missing that we should be getting and what are we including that we shouldn't be getting? It doesn't get any simpler than that. It's hidden in plain sight. I was talking to my friend Carl the other day. Carl, like many folks, is having a hard time with money, his credit. He's having a hard, place to, uh, having a hard time finding a place to live. Carl is healthy physically, but not necessarily psychologically. He's depressed. He's anxious. He's borderline suicidal. But you know what? For Carl to reverse his psychological issues involves addressing the same elements that we would be addressing if Carl had a physical problem. Number one, what is getting into his psychological system that is interfering? And the only thing that can get into a psychological system is obviously psychology. That is interfering or negative thoughts and emotions. And what is not getting into the psychological system that needs to be there? Again, thoughts and feelings, this time positive ones. It's the same idea. Just like you don't need a doctor if you have a health care challenge, a degenerative disease challenge, you don't need a psychiatrist to help you with your thoughts and feelings. You don't need a doctor to help you with your foods and your mighty, mighty 90 nutrients. And you don't need a psychologist or a psychiatrist to help you with your thoughts and feelings. And the whole body operates in this simple fashion, no matter what our health challenges are. If our health challenges are progressive and degenerative, that means they get worse instead of getting better. As soon as we remove the offending, interfering agent, and that always means foods, by the way, and unprocessed or poorly digested foods, and it psychologically means lousy thoughts and feelings, as soon as we remove these offending agents, and as soon as we make sure that the body or the mind has the appropriate nutrients, positive thoughts and feelings in the case of the mind, chronic degenerative disease will reverse on their own, on their own, without medical intervention. That's all we need to focus on if we want to get better. The body, the psyche, the mind is, for better or worse, exquisitely responsive to the bad and to the good. The body can turn on a dime. The progressive nature of chronic degenerative diseases, no matter what we have, can be halted and reversed once we add in the good, nutritional supplements, good foods, and eliminate the bad, crappy foods, and drugs. Yes, prescription drugs are poisons. They're only going to muck, uh, muck up the body worse. And this is true not just about the skin, not just about the psyche. It's true about the entire body, all the organs, all the systems, all the tissues. And it's especially true about the skin. All right. We're going to continue this. When we come back from our break, take your phone calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 
right, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If we've left you on hold in the past, we do have a couple lines open for you. Tell our call screener and we'll get you first up. 844-236-6010 is our number today. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Healthy Start Pack, the Sweeties, the Z-Radical, and the Fucoid Z, now the Jordan Rubin Beyond Organic products, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com. You can order products directly off the website. You can also go to criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com, my blogs. Uh, that also have uh, the longevity products up, and you can also uh, join the Brightside Ben phone team, uh, Brightside Ben team directly from the websites as well. Brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. If you're interested in purchasing any of my new truth products, truthtreatments.com is the website. Take a look at the retinol gel, especially if you've got acne or you've got uh, you're interested in anti-aging. Retinol gel is made with 5.0 percent retinol. That's the highest retinol concentration you're going to find in any products. Plus, it's got a whole bunch of fatty vitamin C. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. All right, we're talking skin health, but really skin health as it relates to the body. The whole body is responsive. The whole body responds quickly. It doesn't take very long once interfering factors are eliminated, once deficiencies are addressed and identified. It doesn't take very long for changes to occur, healthy changes to occur. First thing that happens is more energy, less sleep, changes in mood, better sexual performance. Later on, digestive symptoms will disappear. Blood sugar will stabilize. Blood, sugar will, uh, blood pressure will drop. Cholesterol levels will drop. These are all things that will happen once you eliminate interfering, uh, interfering agents and you start to address nutritional deficiencies. The whole body demonstrates this responsiveness, but nothing responds, no system in the body responds to supplements and corrective of di correction of digestive problems and food elimination faster than the skin. In fact, the skin responds to changes, lifestyle changes, so effectively that it, the skin is in effect a window to what's inside the body. The skin can be used as a diagnostic tool to assess the impact of our lifestyle, to assess the impact of our changes in lifestyle. Changing the quality of our skin, changing the health of our skin requires nothing more than lifestyle changes. This is why dermatology is the silliest and the most ignorant and the most impotent of all medical specialties. This is why the treatments and pres uh, prescriptions that you get from a dermatologist have for the most part not changed since the 1940s and 1950s. You go over to a dermatologist for your acne or your eczema, you're going to get for the most part the same prescription that you would have gotten if you went to a dermatologist in 1962. You're going to get a steroid cream. You're going to get an antibiotic. That's pretty much it. Hasn't changed since the 40s and 50s when the miracles of steroid creams and antibiotics arrived on the scene. 70 years have gone by since uh, prednisone and, and steroid creams and, and tetracycline and erythromycin have come out. And for the most part, with some exceptions, you're still going to get the exact same treatments from your, 19, from your uh, 2015 dermatologist you would have gotten from your 1960 dermatologist. The silliness of medicine. This just absolute craziness of medicine in general and skin medicine is based on a lack of understanding about how the skin is put together. And that's why it's so important to, uh, to understand how the body comes together. It's not complicated, you guys. It's very simple. There's only four parts to the body. There's only four tissues in the body. And it's mostly connective tissue and muscle tissue. The nervous tissue and the, and the so-called epithelial tissue, the covering tissue, that's a small part of the body. 90% or 80 to 90% is connective tissue and muscle tissue. That's it. But to understand how to address our health problems or our skin problems, we've got to understand how, to, how this thing is put together. We've been talking skin nutrition, topical and internal now for a couple of weeks. We've talked about vitamin C. We've been talking about vitamin A. But in order to leverage the importance of retinol, vitamin A, and vitamin C, and other nutrients for fighting wrinkles, for keeping skin smooth and soft and young looking, for addressing health challenges like zits and rashes and psoriasis and eczema and bumps and redness, we gotta zoom in to the organ called the skin and see what it's all about. In other words, if we're gonna understand how to leverage, how to exploit vitamin C and zinc and vitamin A and essential fatty acids for the health of the skin, We've got to 
understand a couple of key distinctions on how the skin is put together. First of all, you've got the idea of layers. You look at your skin, it doesn't look like there's layers, but there are, and there are lots of layers. Contrary to its appearance as a homogenous, uniform system, the skin is multi-layered, just like a layer cake. It's got 10, 20, 30, all kinds of layers. I don't even know how many layers, probably 30 or 40 different layers, three main layers, although there's dozens of actual layers, three main layers, three main sections. We've talked a lot about this, but it bears repeating. There's the hard surface layer, similar to fingernail-like material. That's called the stratum corneum. That means hard layer. I like to think of it as a hard shell candy coating that gives the softer stuff, the more sensitive and delicate stuff underneath, protection. This layer is also waterproofing. It waterproofs from two directions. It waterproofs from the outside. In other words, it keeps the water from the outside from getting in. That's why you don't dissolve into a puddle every time it rains. And it also waterproofs from the inside out. It keeps the skin from drying out. We were born in the water from an evolutionary standpoint. We grew up in the ocean. When we came out of the ocean, when uh, terrestrial life left the ocean, it had to form a barrier so it wouldn't dry out. And that barrier is the stratum corneum, and all terrestrial animals have one. So the stratum corneum keeps water out and it keeps water in. Defects in the stratum corneum barrier are considered to be one of the major, if not the major, causes of dry skin. It's, I won't say the major cause of dry skin, but it's certainly one of the causes of dry skin. And on top of that, when the skin is dry, it's more likely to get irritated. This is why under dry conditions, you're more likely to have eczema and dermatitis. This is why Vaseline and, and moisturizing creams can sometimes relieve the discomfort of eczema or the discomfort of itching and rashes. Because by sealing water in, by keeping water in, you reduce irritation. When the skin is dry, it's more likely to be irritated. When the skin is dry, the threshold for rosacea and eczema and psoriasis is lowered. So keeping the barrier intact is very important. Now, in the long run, moisturizing creams and Vaseline aren't going to do you much good. In fact, they're going to be counterproductive because they're going to suppress the growth of an effective barrier. But in the short run, you may get some benefits. Vaseline and other waxy, oily substances that are supposed to duplicate or imitate the effects of the stratum corneum barrier can have a temporary positive effect. Vaseline is really interesting stuff, by the way. Vaseline is technically called petrolatum. Not petroleum, but petrolatum, or petroleum jelly, some people will call it. It's an extract, or it's a fraction of oil refining. It comes from oil refineries. It was invented in the late 19th century, way before we knew anything about the skin and the substructures and the layers and the cells and all the things that go into keeping skin healthy. Vaseline was invented in 1880. If your doctor's still recommending a, a, a remedy from 1880, and many doctors use Vaseline as a remedy, what the heck does that tell you about your medical professional? He's using a century-old remedy. That's the best you can come up with, Vaseline? Vaseline was invented way before we knew anything about the skin and way before we knew anything about vitamins and way before we knew anything about nutrients and their importance for the health of the body in general and the health of the skin specifically. Talk a little bit about Vaseline. It's got an interesting story, a little hi interesting history to Vaseline. We'll talk about that tomorrow. On the bright side, we'll also talk a little bit more about vitamin C. And I also want to talk about the oldest skin mineral, or topical skin mineral, I should say, one that's been used since the days of ancient Rome. We'll continue it. We'll continue that as we continue our discussion about skin health on the bright side. We're coming back with your phone calls. Don't go away. All right, we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben, talking skin health. Uh, we'll be talking about skin health for a little bit now in honor, honor of my new Truth Treatment products, www.truthtreatments.com. If you're interested in purchasing my retinol gel or, or uh, omega-6 healing cream, they're all up at truthtreatments.com. You can also purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program from brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or also pharmacistben.com. And you can sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team directly off the websites as well. All right, tomorrow we'll continue talking about Vaseline, how it works, the history of Vaseline, why it's counterproductive, and then uh, talk a little bit more about vitamin C, vitamin A, and then we'll get into some, uh, the most important of all the skin minerals. There's lots of minerals that are helpful for the skin. Selenium certainly has some advantages for the skin. You can use magnesium. 
uh, transdermal magnesium. Some folks believe in uh, topical magnesium for transdermal or internal benefits. And then we'll talk about this other uh, really super duper important skin mineral. We'll continue that uh, next few days as we talk skin health and skin nutrition on the bright side. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Daniel in Texas. Good morning. What's up, buddy? Hello, Ben. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty good. How about you? I'm doing well. Thanks for calling. How can we help you? Well, uh, I have, <laughs> over a long time, period of time, discovered many, many, many different advertisements for multivitamin. Capsule. Okay. Would you have something that you would recommend or something that, uh, I notice you have several websites that you have, but I'm not sure which one I would recommend that. Yeah. What do you the, have that you could recommend for multivitamin? Well, there's lots of good ones out there, and ultimately you're going to have to determine for yourself what works, what doesn't work. Personally, I'm always looking for liquid multiple vitamins. Liquids go right to work. They bypass digestive health issues. You can use, you can adjust the dose a little bit more uh, accurately with a liquid or with a powder, I should say, that you turn into a liquid. You can sip on it all day long and duplicate an IV drip like you would in a hospital. So I'm always looking for powder, uh, multiple vitamins. My favorite is the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, it's not a complete multiple vitamin in the sense that uh, you're going to need a, 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 multi, a, a, a more complete multiple vitamin with your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, but it'll help kind of top off your tank, as they say, in the middle of the day. There's That's another... Beyond, now, sir? It's called Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com. Uh, I also like uh, one called All One, and there's different, different uh, varieties of All One. You can find out about that one on the internet. Um, and that's pretty much my two favorites for uh, top for uh, multiple vitamins, uh, powder multiple vitamins. The, the, the problem with your, your pills, your multiple vitamin pills, is if they come in a tablet form, you don't necessarily know that the, the tablet's going to dissolve appropriately and then you're going to get access to those nutrients. Remember, it's not just what you take, it's what you absorb. And sometimes with tablets, they don't get, they don't get broken down and they don't get absorbed as effectively. So I tend to go for powders that you can turn into a liquid and drink. The second best um, multiple vitamin is going to be a capsule. So if you can find a capsule multiple vitamin, that's the way to go. But keep in mind, this is very important when it comes to multiple vitamins. They're the minimum wage. They're not going to get you everything that you need because you can't fit everything you need in a pill. This is more, another advantage to powders is you can get bigger doses with powders and then liquids. But generally speaking, a multiple vitamin is only going to provide you with the minimum wage, the bare bones basic. So, you know, everybody needs a minimum wage. You need to have at least $10 an hour or $11 an hour, whatever the minimum wage is. But that doesn't mean you're going to get rich on the minimum wage or you're going to thrive on the minimum wage. Likewise, with a multiple vitamin, you need the bare bones basic, but it doesn't mean you're going to be able to thrive and access all of your body's wonderful healing, regenerating, and, and, and building and growth and repair systems by just using a multiple vitamin. That doesn't marginalize or diminish the importance of a multiple vitamin. It just says that you need more than a multiple vitamin. Multiple vitamin could is I, the bare minimum. Could Go I ahead. Then, uh, uh, inquire of you this minimum wage, uh, several different kinds of what uh, I guess you'd call core supplements that I could also yeah. take that would be good for me? Healthy Start Pack. That's the one I recommend. Go to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. Look for the Healthy Start Pack, and you can order it directly from the website. You can also call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Tell them you talked to me on the radio, and I recommend it, the Healthy Start Pack. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much for your call, Daniel. Anything else you want to Thank any you other much, sir. Okay, good deal. Have a beautiful day, buddy. Thanks for calling. Appreciate it. All right, Angel in Ohio, welcome to the Bright Side. What's going on? Uh, yes, uh, I'd like to talk to you. I'm afraid, and I want you to soothe me a little. I'm afraid okay. of vitamin K. Why? Uh, I, I heard that vitamin K can cause blood clots. Oh, really? And, Who told you that? Yes, but, Where'd well, you hear I mean, that? I, well, I don't know where I heard it, but I heard okay. it. And, 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 and I was thinking that, you know, I, I don't want to accidentally Vitamins, well... Blood clots. Uh, Okay, let me soothe you a little bit, okay? Vitamins don't cause blood clots. Well, it thickens your blood or something? No. Vitamins are essential nutrients. They're like air. Air is an essential substance, meaning that if you don't have air, you die. The word essential, E-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L, essential, means something. It means specifically without it, you're dead. 
vitamins and minerals, certain minerals, and also essential fatty acids are said to be essential, meaning without them, you're dead. So without vitamin K, Angel, you're dead. Just like a doorknob, dead. Kaput. No more. No, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish, sweetheart. Let me just finish, okay? So vitamins are essential. You absolutely need them. But here's the rub with vitamins. You're always going to have a little bit of vitamins, especially vitamin K, because they're made by bacteria in the gut. So you're always going to have a little bit of vitamins floating around. So nobody's going to die of vitamin deficiency because there's always going to be a little bit. But what's going to happen is you're not going to be optimally healthy. You're going to leave health on the table without adding vitamins, either through food or or uh, through nutritional supplements. So vitamins are essential. Without them, you're dead. For the most part, we don't recognize this because there's always a little bit of vitamins around, but we're leaving health on the table by not exploiting or leveraging their power with supplements and with foods. So that's first things first. Secondly, K, vitamin K, uh, the K in vitamin K stands for coagulation. It's German. So coagulation yeah. in English starts with a C, but coagulation uh, in, um, uh, in German starts with a K, vitamin coagulation. It helps clot the blood. It's involved in blood clotting. Yeah. But, but, but the body's not stupid. Doctors are stupid. People can be stupid. Lots of things are stupid, but not the body. You know what I'm saying here? God is not stupid, yeah. and God made the body. So there are fail-safe mechanisms to keep clotting from happening inappropriately by just taking a vitamin. You understand what I'm saying? There's safety valves in place. The body will not just use the vitamin. Drugs on drugs, the body can't. There's no safety valves for drugs. So if you take a drug, you can go into all kinds of side effects because there's no safety valves. With foods and vitamins, there are safety valves. There are ways that the body will protect itself. So you can take all the vitamin K you want, and the likelihood of blood clotting or excessive blood clotting is very slim. Now, I, I'm okay. giving. You, I'm, I'm saying. Likelihood is very slim because theoretically you could swallow 10 bottles of vitamin K and probably run into an issue. But if you take vitamin K normally, 1,000 micrograms a day, 500 micrograms a day, I take 5,000 micrograms a day. You know, if you take it normally, you're not going to run into any problems. That having been said, vitamin K needs to be taken with vitamin D, with vitamin E, with vitamin A, and all of the essential nutrients. So when you're taking your vitamin K, make sure you're using your Healthy Star Pack. Another, make sure, another question. Well, let another me finish this. Right let me finish this first before I get to another question. Make sure you're taking your vitamin K with a well-rounded nutritional supplement program and you won't run into any problems. Now, it's true. Vitamin K is associated with blood clotting, but because of the safety valves, you don't have to worry about that just by taking vitamin K. Hang tight, Angel. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. Got a full board of phone calls here. Try to squeeze through everybody. So uh, if you wanted to talk to us today, you're going to have to wait till tomorrow. 844-236-6010. Call back tomorrow. We're talking to Angel in Ohio, vitamin K and blood clots. Angel, are you there, ma'am? Yes, I wanted to ask you another question about... Did I take it... Before we can... Before you do that, did I help you out with the vitamin K and blood clots? Not to worry. Yes, yes, you, oh. yes you did. I'm re okay. very happy with that. Uh, I wanted to ask you, my, my husband is a very dark African-American man, and he does not burn. And okay. I was wondering, does, uh, does he and my... Do he and my... Does he and my son need to, uh, to use sunscreen uh, uh, because they don't burn? No, if you're not burning, you don't have to use a sunscreen, in my humble opinion. Burning is the marker for whether, you, whether or not you need a sunscreen. In interestingly, melanin, which is the pigment, uh, the dark pigment that, uh, that goes up when we tan, that increases when we tan, and also uh, that, that African Americans and other ethnics, uh, ethnic skin has lots of, is very electromagnetic. In fact, there's lots of melanin inside your body, not just outside your body. You know, you have melanin in your brain. Yeah, that's right. Melanin in the brain is, is important for helping uh, improve conductivity, electrical conductivity and neural tissue. When the melanin in the brain breaks down, movement disorders can arise. Parkinson's disease is caused by a breakdown in brain melanin, uh, so-called substantia nigra. So melanin is super duper important stuff. On the skin, it will act as a dampening agent. It will suck up electrical energy. It'll suck, I should say, it'll suck up solar energy and keep it from getting, keep the body from having access to that solar energy. And black, uh, black skin or African American skin tends to be, or I should say, African Americans tend to be deficient in vitamin D for this reason. So if you have dark skin, don't worry about burning. 
but you should be worrying about vitamin D. And it turns out that African Americans have higher rates of high blood pressure and prostate disease and certain other sorts of cancers uh, that are all related to vitamin D deficiency. So the most important thing for African Americans to understand is you got to make sure you're getting your vitamin D. Don't worry about the sunscreen. Don't worry about the sunblock unless you're going to burn. But do make sure that you're getting enough vitamin D from supplements, organ meats, livers. Hang on just a moment, Angel. From organ meats and from liver uh, and also from uh, vitamin D supplements. I'm sorry. Go ahead. What were you saying? Well, sometime could you spend some time talking about what people with sickle cell could could do to, to sure. alleviate their... Uh, because I'll tell you right I, I have a lot of friends who died from sickle cell. I'll tell you right now. Sickle cell is a, a, a defect in the cell membrane, red blood cell membrane. It takes a sickle shape, and thus the name sickle cell. Uh, it refers to red blood cells that are taking on a sickle shape. They're not being formed correctly. Anytime you have a membrane problem, whether it's a cell, whether it's a red blood cell or any other cell membrane, skin cell membranes, uh, you have a fat problem. So sickle cell anemia should first and foremost be treated as a fat problem. And by fat, I mean fatty vitamins, and I mean fat digestion, and also probably to a certain extent minerals. So make sure for sickle cell anemia, the strategy, the protocol is to number one, correct digestive health issues, especially around fatty foods, use the ultimate enzymes, use bile salts, apple cider vinegar, fat metabolizing nutrients like choline, C-H-O-L-I-N-E, methionine. Um, uh, you can get uh, HCL drops from a from a uh, from a, uh, a, a compounding pharmacy. Lecithin can also help with fat absorption, and then use fat. Uh, fatty nutrients, especially essential fatty acids, vitamin A, and also vitamin D and vitamin E, and perhaps even vitamin K to a certain extent, and then also minerals, which tend to be absorbed by the fatty system of the body. Zinc and selenium are especially important for red blood cells. And then last but not least, all of the B complex and vitamin C. Those are water-soluble nutrients, but they're very important for helping f uh, the, uh, form a, the body form correct cell membranes, especially, by the way, vitamin B12 and folic acid, which have a specially important role to play in the health of red blood cells. So think fats, think red blood cells, vitamin, uh, the B complex, vitamin B12, vitamin C, zinc, selenium, essential fatty acids, along with vitamin A, D, E, and K, and digestive strategies for helping your body process those fats. I hope that helps, Angel. i got to move on, okay? All right, God bless you. Thanks. All right, Steve in Virginia, what's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Yes, uh, thank you once again. I was calling a, a co-worker who asked me to uh, uh, call about uh, her. He has a grown daughter. Uh, she's in another state, but she has been experiencing some uh, vision loss uh, periodically, uh, pressure behind the eyes. And uh, was she di Is she feeling pressure or she was diagnosed with pressure? Um, I think he said she was feeling that. I don't know if she has a diagnosis. He didn't mention that to me. Okay, well, that's, that's glaucoma. Uh, glaucoma is a term, a kind of a catch-all phrase. It's, there's a lot of different types of glaucoma. But basically, glaucoma is a catch-all phrase that uh, refers to an increase in fluid pressure. They call it IOP, intraocular pressure, inside the eye. Uh, there's different kinds of glaucoma, open angle, closed angle, etc. But it doesn't really matter. The fact is, is that the fluid is not draining as it should. There's a little valve inside the eye uh, that opens and closes, and that valve is supposed to adjust accordingly uh, to relieve pressure. When that valve gets broken down, that's when you get a problem with increased pressure in the eye. So glaucoma is caused by a breakdown in that little valve that opens and closes, or is supposed to open and close, when there's pressure building up inside the eye. So what you want to think about is why is that valve breaking down, and there's only one reason, and that's because the cells that compose that valve, that make up those valve, are inflamed following starvation, suffocation, and toxification. It's the same thing that goes wrong anywhere else in the body. Remember, health is simple. This is the premise in the bright side. All disease is cell disease, and all cell disease, whether it's in the, the valves in the eye, or whether it's in the joints, or whether it's in the skin, or anywhere else, all disease is cell disease, and all cell disease is inflammation, starvation, suffocation, and toxification. First things first, sugar is the ultimate toxin in the body. Now, there's other toxins of course from foods and from pollution and mercury and preservatives and all the crap we put into our system but the most important or, or one of the most important uh, toxins that gets into the body on a regular basis and we don't regard it as a toxin but it is is sugar 
and diabetes, which is a blood sugar problem, and glaucoma go hand in hand, and all eye problems really go hand in hand. So you want to work on the blood sugar system for glaucoma, have your friend, whoever it is, uh, your friend's daughter, work with her blood sugar system. That means reducing her intake of foods that spike blood sugar, fruits and pastas and fruit juices. And, and by the way, fruits have some good things in there, but they have lots of sugar, so you got to be careful with fruits and fruit juices, pasta, rice, potatoes, desserts, etc. Reduce her intake of those foods and start using nutrients that help with the blood sugar system, which also, not coincidentally, also will help with the eyes. Zinc. 50 milligrams a day, zinc picolinate especially. Vitamin E, 400 international units a day. Look for mixed tocopherols. Selenium, 200 to 400 micrograms a day. Use your ultimate selenium. MSM sulfur, the amino acid taurine, the amino acid arginine can all be helpful for stabilizing blood sugar and can also be helpful for the eyes. Don't forget your sweeties, chromium and vanadium, superstar blood sugar stabilizing nutrients, which will have beneficial effects for glaucoma. Same with the B complex, all the B complex, but especially vitamin B1 and vitamin B3, niacin and thiamine. Vitamin C is also very important. Use about 1,000 to 5,000 milligrams a day. You'll get that in your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Make sure she's on the Healthy Start Pack, of course. Omega-3 fatty acids can also be helpful. That's your ultimate EFA, so you'll get that in the Healthy Start Pack as well. If there's any digestive issues, that will also lead to toxicity in the blood and ultimately toxicity at the cell level. So make sure she's correcting any digestive health issues. And then last but most certainly not least, oxygenation, slow deep breathing. The body does not heal under conditions of oxygen deficiency. Under conditions of oxygen deficiency, inflammation will get worse, whether it's inflammation in the joints or whether it's inflammation in the eyes or whether it's inflammation in the skin. So make sure she's practicing her slow, deep breathing techniques. And you'll notice that I didn't say anything different than I would have told you if you complained about arthritis or you had a problem with auto, autoimmune disease or any of the other so-called 12,800 different health diseases. And this is so important because it simplifies health and wellness. It means we can do everything ourselves, no matter what our health challenges are. Inflammation, which follows starvation and suffocation and toxification. You address starvation by using your Mighty 90 essential nutrients, making sure you're getting your macronutrients, your proteins and fats and, and uh, carbohydrates, that vegetable carbohydrates, making sure you're getting your micronutrients. You address toxification by eliminating sugar or reducing at least your intake of sugar, using sugar metabolizing nutrients, staying away from processed foods and of course that you, uh, uh, you address the oxygenation issue by simply sitting on the couch and practicing your deep breathing techniques this is how simple health and wellness are you guys we don't have to be dealing with the chronic degenerative diseases that we're dealing with. We don't have to be suffering from this epidemic of diseases that we have in this country, despite the fact that we have more doctors than ever before in the history of planet Earth. That's how simple health and wellness is. Oxygenation, nutritional supplementation, eliminate toxicity and toxification. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to The Bright Side. Tomorrow we'll continue talking skin health. If you're interested in purchasing any of my Truth Treatment products, head over to truthtreatments.com. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products, head over to brightsidebend.com. We'll talk to you all later. Have a wonderful, spectacular, beautiful, awesome day. Bye for now.